I want to just reach into quantum physics, not to bore you, but to reach those who either themselves or those that go home, the family members, your friends or neighbors that say, will you add another one of those non-scientific lectures uh, that, that was bereft of logic? <clears throat> There have been a series of experiments in quantum physics <laughs> that has turned or should have turned the scientific world on its ear. They uh, use a pejorative comment, quantum weirdness. And during the lunch break, I spoke somewhere to a lady whose son is a brilliant physicist who, as brilliant as he is, is in denial about what the findings mean within his own field. And you see that because scientists, in order to have credibility, are raised with an approach that goes something like this. The observing scientist is here. That which you were studying is over there. You cannot pollute one with the other. And therefore, you get all the problems we have now. Now, don't get me wrong. Science is very good. Science has led to all of and many of the conveniences and technological advantages that make life a little easier on the physical level, but it was never meant to carry us all the way to the soul. Any more than a crutch which, once your leg heals, if you continue to use it, will weaken you. And we became strong by science and now are being weakened by it. And must not move beyond it, we must take science with us and expand it. So, what does quantum physics have to say? <clears throat> well, contrary to the physical sciences and traditional sciences that preach the religion that the universe consists of an object, subject-object metaphysics and a duality, the subject and the object are in fact connected. Now, there were a couple of interesting things that occurred. And I can only touch on a few of them, or I'll be up here way too long. Quantum physics has revealed what ancient masters knew. Matter does not exist. 